you're this perp back with another video and i just got done listening to j electronica's brand new album i think this is debut album his first album was rock nation a written testimony uh before i get into this review hit that like button hit that subscribe button and follow me on twitter at perp minded 420 and yeah let's get right into this because man so to give you a little backstory on jay electronica at least my backstory you know i really fuck with jay electronica ever since you know exhibit a days exhibit b c whatever you want to call it i i thought he was a breath of fresh air and he signed with rock nation back in like what 2010 2011 and no album came out for a whole fucking decade and finally we get news that he is dropping an album this album and it has jay-z on it and shout outs to my boy uh lb the lonely banter for putting me on to the live stream where he it was kind of a um a studio listening listening party i guess you want to call it and i was hyped i was like oh shit so he's not bullshitting this time and he's actually going to drop something i was like yes finally um something of substance or something you know because i was tired of him just kind of beating around the bush and you know in this day and age with my uh this type of music that's coming out now it just comes and goes but i know i'm rambling but when i saw this track list i was like really 10 songs that's it after waiting 10 years you give us 10 songs i would expect that from hove because at least he gives us a project every like four three to four years or something but 10 songs <sighs> now this is the track list when i first saw the track list it was like it's some arabic shit now I, I, i'm gonna be completely honest with you i don't know how to read that shit but i'm glad that somebody could translate and put this you know track list out 10 songs each one of them has jay-z on them the most surprising feature on here is definitely the travis scott i was not expecting that because when i heard it i was like is that fucking kanye even though i think kanye would have sound better than travis scott on there it was still a cool track um never ending story was cool the ghost of soldier slim that was cool i like the fruit of the soul where he makes the thanos line thanos line what really pisses me off is the shiny suit theory like you're really going to put a song that's 10 years old on this project which a lot of these songs sound suspect like i feel like he made some of these songs like five years ago at least probably a good majority of them except for fruit of the soul because he makes uh a thanos reference so that has to be at least two years old um and we get that you're muslim bro you don't have to keep telling us this i understand that and respect to people that are muslim and shit but god damn bro you don't have to beat into my head but you know jay electronica can still rap that's obvious man he's one of the dopest spitters out right now but just this was not worth the wait for me it might have been for you but for 10 songs for this <sighs> And the only get you started on Jay-Z with his fucking 30 second verses on here. It's just god damn it, bro. I was expecting this shit to be crazy, but you know, shame on me for having high expectations for a Jay Electronica project. I I, I should have seen this coming. I should have kept my expectations low, like before like when I saw the live stream, I was hyped. My expectations was high. But now I just I don't know, man. This just wasn't it for me. It might have been for you, but let me know what you think about this project in the comments below. Did it live, live up to your expectations? Was it disappointing? <sighs> well, I guess we're just going to wait until next time. But until next time, I will see y'all later. Peace.